Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Skilling Minds. I am Preeti and hope you all are doing well. Today we bring to you another hands-on session on Python EDA basic commands. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe with the bell notification so that you are the first one to receive our videos. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Today's session is on Python. Python is commonly used for data analysis and data visualization. Exploratory data analysis in Python uses data visualization to draw meaningful patterns and insights. It also involves the preparation of data sets for analysis by removing irregularities in the data. So let's begin right away. Welcome to Skilling Minds, where we impart skill knowledge with easy to understand presentations and hands-on sessions. So whether you're a student or a corporate professional or a homemaker or an entrepreneur, adding skills helps you to increase productivity and attain proficiency. Most people delay adding new skills either due to lack of time or resources. But here at Skilling Minds, we will enable you to learn new skills at your own pace that can help you to stay ahead in today's competitive world. So let's jump straight away into today's topic and add a new skill to our portfolio with Skilling Minds. Welcome to the hands-on session on Python EDA basic. In this session, we'll be using some basic commands in Python to do exploratory data analysis and try to look at the data set given to us. So let's get started. Let's first create a new Python notebook. You can always you know, double click here and we can give it a name, something like EDA basic. Now to start with, we have to import the libraries that we need to work on. And we're going to start with some basic libraries here. So let's import NumPy as NP and also import Pandas as PD. Now once we've imported the library, let's uh, give a command to import the data set so let's just give a name to this data set let's say let's let's make it a data frame and say df equals to pd dot read so i'm gonna pull this data from excel so i'm gonna write excel here and i'm gonna give the name of the Excel file and always remember to put the extension otherwise it will give you errors in this case it is XLSX okay and let's see what happens so it's read the database it's imported the database and it's ready for us to explore now, how do we display the data set? We use the naming convention that we did as, you know, DFs stands for data frame, and you can choose any letter that you like. So we'll put a DF dot head. So you wanna basically look at the, you know, head of the data, which should, you know, give us uh, the column names and you know, a few rows. So let's run this. And here it is. So what do we have in front of us are the column names and you know, correspondingly, it has some rows picked up. Uh, and a good way to look at it is, is you know, just uh, skim it through 
so that you know you, you can see that you know everything is in order in the sense like you know if there is something known as a quantity ordered it has numericals if it's a categorical field it should have you know uh, so, you know data as objects of something like status is you know shipped which is correct it, it is not numerical and so on so you know just skim it through and see you know what all is available in this data so for the sales data i think we we can you know easily see there's an order number there's a quantity number uh, there are sales there are statuses uh, whether it's shipped or not uh, customer name phone address city and so on now you can also you know look at it from a different perspective you want to see from the bottom of the data you just you know change head to tail and it will give you you know last few rows you know again just skim it through just see you know everything is in order there are no missing values as such and then you know, it just just is just you know visual uh, observation but there is much more to be done for you know exploratory analysis so let's let's move further now uh, let's uh, see at what is the information being provided you know by this uh, entire data set to get that put in the command df dot info so what does this pull out so it, it kind of you know gives you uh, a, a, a number serial number order here then column uh, then it tells you about you know how many rows are there in in each of the columns uh, and it also tells you uh, that you know is there a null value or a non null value and it also you know gives you your data type so in in one view you are able to see so much of the information always remember uh, that you know python doesn't start with one it starts with zero and so on uh, and when we go to you know advanced sessions uh, this will really help us uh, to input as you know a part of the code when we're trying to you know pull out or explore you know uh, data into different segments so few things for you know exploratory analysis one we look at that you know all the columns present here uh, do not have any null value that is there is no missing value as such you know most of them look like uh, or similar you know 2747 rows in each one of them a quick view also tells you uh, the way we were looking at you know whether it's a numerical number or whether it's an you know object uh, whether it is you know continuous number or whether you know uh, it's a categorical uh, you know that could be uh, also looked upon through data types so something like an order number uh, is an integer which is a numerical number quantity ordered is also you know integer price is a float float is uh, basically uh, a number with decimals uh, and so on you know uh, order date you will have a you know date time format or a data type here uh, and then you know we saw those statuses which were like shipped and all uh, being represented as objects quick uh, summary uh, at the bottom so you know a, a date time data type is you know only one float which is uh, there it's uh, you know two of them integers are five and objects are 12 and some note on you know how much memory usage uh, has been occupied by this data set here so after looking at the info what we can do is uh, we can go a bit further and get a little advanced in this uh, and uh, you know just try to see that you know if it's saying non null null values uh, is it true or not uh, you know do i really have any missing values or not so for that uh, you will have to put in a command which is uh, df dot is null uh, and uh, let's 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 run this first and see what happens so when you run this you see all falses you know false out here false would you know tell you that there is no null value if there would have been a null value this would have been true so you know it, it gives a lot of you know false uh, in the, all the rows but how do we comprehend this you know it's, we can't you know read each and every row so let uh, you know top it up with a sum and let's see what happens 
once you do that it tells you uh, the sum of total you know null values for order number is zero as we have seen uh, there are no null values right so for each and every column you see zero out here which kinds of tell you uh, that this data set doesn't does not have any null value now let's look at one more of a basic command to explore this data set uh, let's type in gf dot describe so what does it do if you notice on your left hand side uh, it's kind of you know segmented the data into count mean standard deviation minimum 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent and max ranges now this is not applicable for something like a order number because we don't want to do any you know description or any analysis on the order number or something like you know employee id uh, you know which is not to be you know analyzed but let's look at something like quantity ordered you know as we know there are around you know 2747 rows or values for quantity ordered uh, if you look at uh, you know the mean quantity ordered is around you know 35 uh, and also you know 50% which could be a, you know a median here is also you know around that value of 35 it also shows up uh, that they are uh, you know at a standard deviation of you know 9.7 uh, or you know 25% quartile you know would continue to have uh, something around 27 orders or you know 75 would have around you know 43 orders and maximum uh, of the values around you know 97 quantity orders and you can you know look at for other uh, uh, variables also something like uh, you know price uh, it could also be you know in terms of sales that you could look at so let's say a medium uh, is around you know 3184 you know that's the sales that you know you receive uh, as, as a median of from this particular data set and then obviously it has its minimum sales value of 482 and you know even the maximum values of something like 14,082 so it's kind of you know in a way describes us uh, the data in different segments uh, and you know helps us understand where the uh, you know mean value is or where the median is or you know what is the standard deviation uh, what are the different you know quartiles uh, or percentiles where you know it has been divided and helps us also to understand uh, it from the perspective of min and max so with this uh, i would like to conclude today's hands-on session on python eda that's exploratory data analysis basic commands thank you if you like this video, then please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe Skilling Minds. Leave us a comment on which skill video would you like to watch next. Also, press the bell notification button so that you are informed as soon as we upload a new skill video. Till then, take care and bye.